Hey everybody, this is Core Harmonic. My name is Emery, and I am back yet again with another reaction to The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 4, titled Pharaohs or Fatos, something like that. Yes, I'm doing two reactions a week now, just so that in case Netflix decides to remove this show, I've already covered it. You know? Because uh, I see the whole Fox thing at the beginning, the little Fox intro, and it doesn't have a Netflix intro, and there's no download button per episode for this show. So you gotta just watch it online, and then you get to react to it, instead of watching it offline, as I usually do. If this is your first time here, you happen to find this channel, I react to trailers, TV shows, and movies. And if you want to see the full uncut reaction to this episode, because these are the reaction highlights, then go over to my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash coreharmonic. The link is in the description down below. Also, the links to my socials, check the description out. There are always a few goodies there. There are also a few free stuff on my Patreon page, because every first episode of every season of any show that I cover will always be free for you to watch there. Let me know what you think about those reactions by joining the conversation over at my Patreon page. These are the shows and movies that I've covered so far. These are the reaction highlights I am watching on Netflix. And I am also taking notes. More videos will be coming on the channel soon, especially a bunch of shows that I haven't like posted reaction highlights for in a while. I have covered them, but I just need to find the time to edit all these reactions. I'm also really excited to start doing live streams with all of y'all about movies, about shows that you are into, that you are passionate about, and our most anticipated projects this year or the year following. And without further ado, enough jibber jabber, let's get into this reaction right freaking now. Okay, that really looks beautiful. What? Nothing. It's not nothing, it's always something. All right, remember his rule, no crying in the boat. <laughs> Scares the fish. Oh, this is, this is sad. Dad. They're I mean, missing their parents. Maybe Florida wasn't hit so bad. Maybe it's better there. Maybe they're still alive or... Do you think? You know? Oh, look at the blood in his hand. Ugh. That looks so disgusting. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is faster, dude. Plus, you don't know what your brother did. Got a do-rag or something? This must be so, like, how do you, oh man, how do you even, I know, like, it's your brother, but still, it's a severed hand. Look, at this moment, he's probably passed out, you know. But everybody's body reacts different, uh, differently. So, who is this guy? Is it his son? You okay? He did say champ, so probably. Drink some water, at least. Enough in him to take out these two son bitches. One-handed. Oh, toughest asshole I ever met, my brother. Any man can pass out from blood loss. No matter how yeah, tough he is. Yeah, true. As I said. Oh, nice. Damn. Hell yeah, ladies. Ladies? Because yeah. of you... My children will respect. Thank you. Thank Dale. It's his canoe and gear. 
Look at all the fish. Thank you. <laughs> whoa. Yeah, whoa. Where did you two learn to do that? Our dad. Can you teach me how to do that? Sure. I don't want to alarm anyone, but we may have a bit of a problem. His son has lost his goddamn mind. <laughs> he's like, he's not even talking to me. I don't know what's going on. Skin. He cauterized the stone. I told you he was tough. Nobody can kill Merle, but Merle. Don't take that on faith. He's lost a lot of blood. Yeah? And stop him from busting out is it foreshadowing time? that his younger brother is gonna be the one to kill him? Do that. Why wouldn't he? He's out there alone, as far as he knows. Doing what he's got to do. Surviving. Yeah. No worse than being handcuffed and left to rot by you sorry pricks. If you couldn't kill him, I ain't so worried about some dumb dead. Bastard. He has a point. You can't get far with that injury. We could help you check a few blocks around, but only if we keep a level head. You can do that. That's good. That's good. Atta boy. I'm not strolling the streets of Atlanta with just my good intentions, okay? <laughs> uh, just imagine him saying, good intentions, and then he... <laughs> Starts walking on the street. He's like, I'll be fine. Hey, why don't you hold up, all right? Just give me a second here, please. What do you want? So? So why are you digging? What, you heading to China? Jim, <laughs> what? What does it matter? I'm not hurting anyone. Then you're going to beat my face in like Ed Peltier, aren't you? Y'all seen his face, huh? What's left of it? See, now that's what happens when someone crosses you. That was different, Jim. You weren't there. Ed was out of control. He was hurting his wife. That is their marriage. That is yeah, their marriage. that was different. Not judge and jury. Yes, true, but he shouldn't go that far. If it was the other way around, I would want, I would want the ladies to step up as well. If we go up there in a group, we're slow, drawing attention. If I'm alone, I can move fast. That's the tank, five blocks from where we are now. That's the bag of guns. Here's the alley I dragged you into when we first met. That's where Daryl and I will go. Why me? Your crossbow is quieter than his gun. Whichever direction I go, I got you in both places to cover me. Afterwards, we'll all meet back here. Hey, kid. What'd you do before all this? Delivered pizzas. Why? You got some balls for a Chinaman. I'm Korean. Whatever. Oh boy. Even the younger brother's racist. She noticed. Whoa, don't shoot me! What do you want? Looking for my brother. He's hurt real bad. You seen him? Are you the man? Shut up, good. Answer me. Okay. Move, kid. Move. Poor Jim. You okay, little man? I'm gonna cut off my feet, cut, huh? Do cops do that? Not him. This redneck puto here. Cut off some dude's hand, man. Show it to me. Shut up. Hey, that's that vato right there, Holmes. You shot me in the ass with an arrow, man. What's up, Holmes, chill, huh? Chill, I said chill. Chill. It's so him.
You could get the guns later on though. Because that's probably what they would do. I love that he's walking with like his ass is just <laughs> Oh my god. That's so funny. It's so amazing that they're still trying to keep everybody alive, you know? Thought you were being eaten by dogs, man. <laughs> yeah, look at those terrifying dogs out of hell there. They're ready to kill every last one of you. I'm glad it didn't go down that way. <laughs> that blood will be on my hands. Mine too. We'd have fought back. Yeah, dude. You could have just done an easy trade, man. How did they find them? They're gonna have to cut off her arm if they're fast enough. Oh my god. Go, go. Oh, you can barely see anything. It's so dark. Oh no. Oh, they're biting the crap out of her, man. It's too late. It's too late. Oh. Oh, she was so young. I remember my dream now. Why I dug the holes. They were just having a pleasant day, and that reality sets in. This was his dream. This is what he saw. I wish that he remembered what he saw so that he could explain it a little bit more. Oh boy, he lost one of the sisters. I love that this starts out with the sisters instead of the main character, with them being 12 years apart and having such a emotional scene regarding their parents, regarding their father and them still being alive maybe in Florida. And now they're not gonna get the chance to spend some time with them in case they're still alive you know it sucks it just sucks to see Amy go but it makes sense it's the walking dead these things could absolutely happen but I still wanted to see the character development regarding her I wanted to see her relationship with her sister Blossom and now that's just taken away from me you know and I hate it I just hate it also Respect for the ladies for catching the fish and the sister crying at the end was just <sighs> That was the saddest thing that was the saddest thing from this episode Let me talk about the Merle brothers for a second. I love that Dixon is such a badass even though he's such an asshole you know, he's such a badass that He just he's just swinging with one arm and knocking zombies out, you know, losing some blood along the way. Thank goodness he didn't lose a lot, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's just passing out, walking, passing out, walking, and of course being lucky that no zombie spots him. And apparently only a Merle can kill a Merle. That's what I understood from his brother's conversation with Glenn, Grimes, and T-Dog. I'll jump to the ending soon. But it starts out with Jim having an emotional breakdown and it makes so much sense that somebody would dream about this happening eventually. And that's why he started digging. So I didn't put two and two together that that would be the reason I thought that, hey, maybe the son got to him or maybe he's thinking that eventually all of them are going to die. I never thought about the fact that he just simply had a dream about basically a lot of people not making it and I genuinely believe I don't believe it's Jim anymore I don't think he did it I genuinely believe that Dixon did it with this being his plan of revenge and the whole thing with Jim saying that it's none of their business they shouldn't have interfered Shane shouldn't have interfered again I disagree it is your moral obligation as a human being to step up for somebody else when they're getting abused whether it's physical whether it's emotional whether it's psychological i like the whole good cop bad cop thing that was going on between daryl and grimes 
with the with the young dude in Felipe just getting shot on his ass. Seriously, that actor is usually in the background of like every movie that or show that you've seen that's like maybe not the biggest or like a blockbuster thing, but it's a memorable show. Right, he's always in the background somewhere. He's even in Fast and Furious, and I didn't know that that was a thing until I watched Blind Wave one day. They were doing a reaction to, I think, Fast 7 or Fast 8 or something like that, and he was in it. He was in it, and he had a few lines, and that was it. It's so funny. It's always that dude. Maybe he likes being in the background instead of being the main star, or maybe he's just not getting the opportunities. I don't know. But I never see him like credited anywhere, you know, so that's actually the funny part. Jim's words really made you worry, but at the same time, they were words of encouragement. And it's so cool that he could put those two together and just give you mixed feelings. Little by little, episode by episode, I'm getting information on who's related to who, who's friends with who, and I have so much respect for the little gang that was out there protecting the old people, helping them out right after the staff left, like the staff just built completely. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was this messed up mindset of like, ah, oh, they're old, it's fine. They're gonna die anyway at a certain point in time. Let me just save myself. So I love the selflessness of Felipe and I didn't get the other guy's name. Damn and their crew and the grandma also bringing in Grimes and showing him what's actually going on and just Grimes being like, dude, I could have killed you, man. Like, seriously, don't play around like this. And he's like, oh, I'm just glad it didn't go down like that. Like, dude, it didn't have to go down like that. We could have just exchanged, you know, the goods and that was it. If you told me what was going on, we could have split the package and that was it. But I can also see from his standpoint why he was like, yeah, I'd rather not do that. I don't know y'all, I don't trust y'all. So it would be stupid for me to assume that you're good people, you know? Grimes is just gonna blame himself and constantly keep kicking himself for the fact that he left to help Dixon, somebody that is an asshole, that is a piece of crap at certain moments, somebody that no one would miss except Daryl, of course, because it's his brother. His wife is probably going to be so mad at him and his son too, Shane probably as well, the other dude that hopefully did not lose his family. And I hope that at one point they can realize, maybe, just maybe, Dixon is the one that did this. Because how did they find him? Also, why didn't they like cover the whole place with like a fence or something, you know, to protect themselves? I will never understand why. I guess maybe it's to like get food and stuff. Maybe have that be easily accessible. But still, you could have made a gate or something. I don't know. Guys and girls, this is the end of the discussion. I don't want to keep this too long. I want to post this as soon as possible because I need to leave in a few minutes. So, you know the usual, subscribe, hit that notification bell, smash that like button, check out the socials, check out the Patreon page. A lot of goodies are there. Always check out the description. And I hope to see you in the next reaction video, reaction highlights, or full uncut reaction. Bye.